Hey everyone, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing April's Ipsy Boxy Charm and Glam Bag unboxing for you guys. If you are not familiar with Ipsy, they are a beauty subscription service. There is the Glam Bag where you get five deluxe sample size products. There's the Boxy Charm where you get five full size products, and then there's the Icon Box where you get that every three months. And there are eight full-size products and that box is curated by a celebrity. I like to say this upfront that Ipsy very kindly gives me the boxes and bags to share with you guys every month so thank you so much to Ipsy but without further ado let's get into it. This month, can we, first off, can we believe that it's like April? It blows my mind. Anyways, let's start off with this month's theme. This month's theme is Welcome home this month, come out of hibernation to embrace a dreamy new world filled with heavenly makeup, planet positive faves, and vitamin powered skincare to bring out your inner glow. My baby woke up from her nap, so we're gonna be doing Ipsy unboxing featuring baby. This is the glam bag. I really like the peach pom-pom zipper. The first product that I have is by Avon and it is the Avocado Sweet Almond Ojoba Grape Seed Argan Oil Wheat Germ Oil Papaya Extract. This is Advanced Bio Restorative Superfood Facial Oil. This is made in Italy for Avon skincare and I do think I'm going to keep this one because I have been trying to use more facial oils. I do have a few in my stash and I do try to use it with my evening skincare routine. I don't use it every day, but I try to. This one, you are just supposed to apply two to three drops onto cleanse skin. So I do like that this is an, a deluxe sample size product, especially since I'm a little slower at going through them. Next product is by Tarte and it is the Big Ego Mascara. I don't think I've heard of this mascara before. I feel like I'm really behind on like the Tarte mascaras, but I get really excited when I get products from them in here because I feel like their mascaras are really good. So I think I'm going to keep this one. I don't think that this is waterproof as well. They don't really give much info about this mascara, but regardless, I'm still going to keep it and try it out. Next is by Kiss and Smink. This is, oh wait, what is this? A Lip Aura Tinted Lip Oil. This is in the color Peony. I do think I'm going to keep and try it out because I always get really excited when I get lip products. I think that this color is perfect for spring. Next product is by Dew of the Gods and they have included Dew of the Gods before and I like their products. So I'm excited to get this one. This is the Almafi Gold Heaven Grade Hair Serum. This is supposed to provide your hair with natural shine, deep texture, and protection from mechanical heat and summer sun. You are supposed to apply three to six drops to damp or dry hair in the morning or higher volume at night as an overnight hair mask. So it's just a cute little bottle like this and I'm going to definitely try this out. All right, last product is by Elizabeth Mott. Sure Thing Vitamin C Cleanser. This is supposed to cleanse and remove makeup with vitamin C. I'm going to keep and try this one out. Usually with cleansers, I do try to keep them because I do use them every day, morning and the evening, and I do like that this is a travel size. You are supposed to lather a pea-sized amount of product morning and evening with warm water and gently massage onto face and neck. We are gonna go to BoxyCharm. All right, first product that I see here is by guest and it is the glowiest peekaboo skin perfecting toner this is supposed to be cleansing exfoliating and pore refining just like with facial oils i have been trying to use toners more with my skincare routine i don't know if i am going to be keeping this i have to double check how many toners i have in my beauty stash if i don't really have as many toners i might keep this one but if i do have a lot i don't think i will keep this one just because i am slower in using up toners all right next is by misha beauty and it is a liquid eyeshadow they have included misha beauty before this is in the color magnifique I think I'm saying that right. I think this is really pretty. I do think I'm gonna keep and try this one out because I have been trying to be a lot better at putting eyeshadows. I used to wear eyeshadows all the time and I feel like COVID kind of ruined it because I didn't really put on makeup as much and I've gotten a lot lazier with my makeup routine, but I can't wait to try this on. I think that this is just like perfect for evening and going out and parties. All right, I handed the baby off. To my husband. So we're almost done here. Moving on, we have the Lith High Definition Gel Eyeliner Gel Eyeliner Pen with built-in angled brush. 
This is in the color Coffee Bean. And right off the bat, I really like brown eyeliners. I think that they just look a lot better than a black eyeliner. I think that black just looks very harsh against your eyes. And brown is a little bit softer. One side, it has the eyeliner, of course, and it's just a very fine tip and then the other side has the angled brush which I don't think I've ever gotten before but I kind of want to try it out so we'll see how this works all right next product is by Too Faced and it is the better than sex foreplay 24 hour lash primer I can't remember if I've gotten a Too Faced lash primer in these boxes but regardless I do like Too Faced in general so I know I'm gonna keep this so with this one you are supposed to do two coats of the primer and one coat of mascara and I am going to keep and try this out I do feel like with my mascaras like I have short eyelashes and even though when I use mascara I just feel like my eyelashes are just still short and not as voluminous so i am going to keep and try this one out again last product in the boxycharm is by lunar beauty and it is the moon prism blush cheek palette it sounds like a makeup product from like sailor moon i don't know if i've ever gotten anything from lunar beauty if i did i'm totally blinking out this looks really cool i think that this is really good if you want to try out different blushes however i feel like when it comes to me i don't know if i'm going to be keeping it not because I don't like it but because I feel like I have a lot of blushes and right now I'm currently using like a cream blush and I really like using cream blushes so I don't know if I really want to use a powder blush at this moment that was it for April's boxycharm and glam bag unboxing which one was my favorite between the two I don't quite know to be honest I I feel like it's one of those months where I wasn't completely wowed by the products, but I do feel kind of neutral about both of them. I know that's not really helpful. Let me know what you guys think if you felt the same. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you guys for watching and thank you again to Ipsy. I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.